Welcome to my YouTube channel, this is Aramide Graphics. In this video tutorial, you will be learning how to create a professional ID card. So without wasting much of your time, let's begin. Now you open your Pixel app app, click on the three dots at the top, then click on image size, then the width you change it to 2, click on 2, then the height will be 3. Now to see our work area clearly, click on the background edit, then click on color, click on color again, then click on white for you to see our work very well, then click on shape 2. Click on import to bring in our shape. That is the shape we'll be using. So as you can see, we are bringing the shape. So we'll be using the shape, this hexagon. So you change it for you to change it very well. Click on erase color, enable then the tolerance to the fullest. Then mark it so that you can remove the background there. Then click on color to give it color. So I'll be giving it green. As you can see, we're using the shape very well. Then lock it, then copy it again. Give it another color, sky blue. You can see copy that again copy and paste then change it again give it color dark blue now as you can see this shape these are what we'll be using so for this graphic design tutorial i'm using these three different shape and different color to create a good id card design so let's continue so you click on this that's the grid icon to get our grid then click on grid setting then click on that grid setting again that icon to give it numbers so we're using 20 by 20 So as you can see, with the help of this grid, it will help us position our work very well and make sure our work is neat. So let's continue. Now take up the green. So we make sure it's big, they position it very well according to the grid. Now you click on the icon, then lock it. Now the next one is the sky blue. Now click on the layer to lock it. Then the next one is the one in blue, the shape, then bring it down. Then edit that too. As you can see, with the help of this grid, it makes things easier and very, very precise and accurate as well. So it helps us to place our shape very well so as to get a better result in doing whatever you want to do in graphic design. So the ruler that is the grid is very helpful. Now we are going to draw the shape to put the image of the ID card folder. Then click on the layer tool. Then copy any of the shape there. We are copying the first one. Copy and paste that. So you change the color to white. And reduce that first. So now let's change the color. Change it to white. As you can see then. Go to stroke. Give it green as you can see. Then reduce it that way and edit it very well. So make sure it's placed very well with the help of the grid. As you can see there. Now we we'll bring in the image. Click on import. So as you can see, this is the image we are using. The doctor. So let us max the image to the shape. First go to opacity, reduce it. So after we've done that. So you reduce the image so that it can fit the shape. Now you click on the max tool when you are done. Then scroll to max tool. Click on max tool. Then enable when you are done. It is very well. As you can see, I'm masking an image into a shape. So if you want to learn how to mask an image into a shape, you can check the description below or you can check the top of your screen now. There's a video there on how to mask an image into a shape. Now click on enabled when we are done, then click on out as you can see, then mark it. Now when we are done, increase the opacity back to 100. Wow, we are almost there. So you can use the position to set it very well. Now you click on the layer 2, you lock it. After I've done that, 
you click on it again then you copy and paste any shape you like so i've copied and pasted the shape let us change the color give it a sky blue then you remove the outline that is the stroke click on stroke then disable that as you can see then you drag it down to the back of the um shape there that is the image so you edit it very well and make sure it aligns with the shape you want to do So as you can see, with the help of the grid, I'll be using it to place my shapes and my image very well so as to make sure that the design is very good and professional. So when you are doing your graphic design, always make sure you use your grid to help you set your work very well so as to make it look good and professional. Now let us type in the name, click on the A icon, then click on plus, then click on pencil to type the name Bruce Mary. So I'm using Bruce Mary for this tutorial. Now scroll to text size, then increase it. Click on color, give it blue. Then give it font style. I'm using Amrad Bold, so you can give it any font style you like. But I'm using Amrad Bold, and make sure it's bold too as well. So you place it very well. You may do then arrange it very well. Now to draw the shape, click on shape to click on shapes to draw the um, shape for the position. That is the surgeon. That's a position. So we do that very well. Then radius 22. Then reduce that. Then place it very well. Then after that, to give it color, we are done with the width and height. That is the size. Then click on color. So I'm giving it color green. Now, lock that so as well. Let us copy and paste the name so that we we'll give it the name Sojourn. Now, we edit the name Sojourn by giving it color. So as you can see, we are creating a good professional ID card. So as you can see, I have reduced the name, the position and the shape so as to fit in the grid. As you can see, so as to type in others. So let us bring in the ID number. So now you edit the ID number with the size, size to 30, then position it very well using the grid. Now copy and paste the ID number to type in the department. So because of time, I've typed in the rest. That is the registration date and the expiring date. Wow, we're almost getting there. So we've typed in everything with the help of the grid. It makes our work easier than accurate. So now the next thing to do is to type in the others.
so now we type in the number that is the ID number now what we'll be typing now will be bold so as to be visible now I'll give you some spacing to as well so because of time I've typed in everything already so that's it wow the help of the grid I've typed in the surgery the registration date and the expiry date as you can see so lovely so now the next thing is to draw our shape click on any of the shape then copy and paste that So as you can see, what I'm trying to do is to arrange it very well, so place it at the right side to give it another good effect to make it look good. So with the help of the grid icon, as you can see, I've placed it very well. So I'm giving it angle 120 degree. So as, we, as you can see, place it very well with the help of the grid. Now copy and paste that, then change it to the blue color. That's it. Then break it down too as well. Now as you can see, almost there, forming a good professional ID card. Now click on the import icon to bring in the logo. Now copy and paste the logo too as well now. So now I'm going to copy and paste the logo so as to edit the logo very well. So I'm going to change the color of the first one first. Then cut out some parts, then place it in the first one. Now the name of the hospital, that is Ammoni Hospital. Now the website. Now the last thing I'm going to do is copy and paste the logo. To create the logo effect so click on shape tool then click on color then enable now give click on that color wow if also now i get that color click on plus icon then click on pencil icon then give it 212 by 212 as you can see everything that i get that color then the opacity you reduce it so that's it wow then just copy and paste everything as you can see then give it different shape and different sizes wow wow so lovely look at how 
to create a good and professional ID card using your phone using the Pixel App app. So now the last stage is to bring up the last shape there, that is the one at the right, so just bring it up a little bit. So we just bring it up a little bit. Now for you to save your work, click on the icon at the top there, click on save as image. Then click on the best option there, which is ultra. Then save to gallery. Work is saving. Wow, now this is how to create a professional ID card with your smartphone using Pixel App app. So if you are watching this video and you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly click on the subscribe button on your screen right now for you to get notification anytime I upload a video. If you have comment at all concerning this video, kindly drop your comment in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like this video and also do where to share this video across your socials to your friends and to your loved ones. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video. Bye.